strike. 1968 was a turbulent year in America. All over the country, people were standing up for their civil rights and fighting for racial equality. In East Los Angeles, a group of Mexican-American high school students was beginning their own fight for the right to a quality education. For decades, LA's Mexican-American students faced academic discrimination. Kids on the East Side were sent to crowded, second-rate high schools that prepared them for nothing more than low-paying jobs. More than half routinely dropped out of school and the few who graduated were discouraged from going to college. Some students were getting frustrated. In 1968, frustration turned to action. A group of Mexican-American students began to organize. They wanted smaller class sizes and courses that included Mexican-American history. They wanted their schools repaired and maintained. Mostly, they wanted equal treatment and a better education. They played it safe at first, presenting their concerns to their principals. When that failed, they went before the Board of Education. Still, their voices went unheard. So they took a stand that couldn't be ignored. On March 5, 1968, at the sound of the 9 o'clock bell, students from Garfield High School in East L.A. got up from their seats and walked out. Over the next few days, they inspired walkouts at five other public schools until over 20,000 students took to the streets in protest. Shouting Chicano power and Viva La Raza, they brought America's largest school system to a grinding halt. It was the biggest protest of its kind in the nation's history. Police tried to crush the peaceful demonstration. Some students were beaten, but they held fast and finally won a series of concessions from the school board. The walkout sparked a new Chicano pride in East L.A. Many of the students applied to college, and Hispanic enrollment in California universities increased dramatically. Chicanos were finally sharing in the American dream. Many of the original protesters went on to great success. One of them was Antonio Villaragosa, who became a mayor of Los Angeles. Another, Moctezuma Esparza, became a successful producer. The protests were all but forgotten until 2006, when Esparza made a film called Walkout. 38 years later, it captures the drama of that powerful week in 1968 and inspires a new generation of students to make education count.